In this video, we want to go back to the ancient times, whenever people knew a few logarithms, but in order to calculate larger numbers, they would use properties of logarithms uh, to do that. So let's suppose that you were able to calculate that the natural log of 2 is 0 0.7 and the natural log of 3 is 1.1. Well, if you know those guys, and really, any prime number, you would have had it a table in some textbook or manuscript that would have said what certain logarithms of those values are. And you can just kind of crank out the rest of it by hand. So if you're given this, and you were told to find the natural log of 48. Well, let's see, what can we do? Well, if you think back to those properties of logarithms, if you have a product, or you have a quotient, or you got powers, you can expand that. And that's what we want to do here. Because see, 48 is made up entirely of factors of 2 and factors of 3. I just have to rewrite it. So maybe off to the side, we think about what 48 is. So if you do a factor tree for 48, we've got 2 times 24. 2 goes in there 12 times. 2 goes into 12 six times, and then two goes into six three times. So you get your prime factorization. So the natural log of 48 means finding the natural log of, look what we have here, one, two, three. We have four factors of two, and we have one factor of three. So we break this down in terms of its prime factors, and then we can use those properties of logarithms. So the properties of logarithms would say this now becomes the natural log of 2 to the 4th plus the natural log of 3. And another property of logarithms says that you can take this power and write it out front to say 4 times the natural log of 2 plus the natural log of 3. So without knowing the natural log of 48, but knowing these two natural logs, we can come up with the value for the natural log of 48. So this is 4 times, this is where you make your substitution. The natural log of 2 is 0 0.7, and the natural log of 3 is just 1.1. And this is stuff that we can easily do by hand. So this is 2.8. And the natural log of 3 is 1.1. So that tells us that the natural log of 48 is 3.9. Now, it's really tough for me to say that natural log of 2 equals this, because it's, it's really not. I just rounded to the nearest tenth so we could do a nice, simple exercise. If we go to our calculators, you're going to see that there are two logarithm buttons. You've got log and you have natural log, okay? So we kind of talked about what log and natural log are. Log is log base 10, it's the common log, and ln is the natural log, so it's log base e. But this says natural log of 48, so let's see what it says if I type that in. If I do natural log of 48, am I somewhat close to 3.9? 3.87, so my estimate is, is pretty close. It's not 100% accurate because it's not going to be, because these na excuse me these natural logs more than likely will end up with irrational numbers. <clears throat> so this is not a nice pretty number. It's not a fraction, but it's just an approximation. Okay, let's try it with a different example. So that was the natural log of 48. Now let's try to find the natural log of 27 over 2. Well, if 27 over 2, we have a fraction, so we know this at the very least. Using properties of logarithms, we can say this is the natural log of 27 minus the natural log of 2. Now, in order for us to use the given information at the top of this page, we have to be able to completely rewrite everything in terms of factors of 2 and 3. And this guy is done. What about 27? 27 can be rewritten as 3 to the third, right? We know our powers of 3. We can recognize that. And then, 
you've got the property of logarithms that says that power gets to come out front. So this becomes 3 times the natural log of 3 minus the natural log of 2. And then we go back to that given information. We were told to use 1.1 for the natural log of 3. So this is 3 times 1.1 minus and we were told to use 0 0.7 for the evaluation of uh, natural log of 2. And once we're at this step, this is just simple, do you know how to work with your decimals, right? So this is 3.3 .3 minus 0 0.7, and so we come up with a value of 2.6. But let's check that in the calculator to see, is our estimate close to what the calculator says it is? Now the calculator can never give you an exact value because natural log of 2702 is never going to be exact. So let's see, natural log of 27 divided by 2, 2.60 and some other stuff. So yeah, our approximation is really close. Now when you do these examples in my math lab, a lot of times the approximations they give you go out to four decimal places, not just one. So if you think you're just going to throw it into the calculator and be okay, it's going to be off by just enough that when you type it into my math lab, it's going to tell you that you're wrong. So you really need to go through it just like we're doing here, step by step, piece by piece.